Welcome to the Working with Stick Shifter video series. This episode covers the command line interface, or CLI. In this video, we will explain how to prepare your environment, how to install the Stick Shifter CLI, and how to run a query to see if your data source is available. Before we begin, I want to describe the demo environment. I am using Ubuntu 20.04, Python 3.8.2, pip, and Git. If this is the first time you're using GitHub, Python, or Git, additional resources will be provided at the end of this video so you can learn more. Now let's start by going to the StickShifter repository on GitHub. To install the StickShifter CLI, we need to clone the repository to our local system. To clone the repository, we can click on the green Clone button near the upper right side of the screen and then click the notepad icon to copy the link to your clipboard. Next, we'll open a terminal window. StickShifter requires Python 3.6.x. As I mentioned earlier, I'm working on an Ubuntu 20.04 system. Python 3 is installed by default, and I'm not using a virtual environment, so I'll be using Python 3 versus Python and pip3 versus pip when running commands. To check the Python version you're using, type Python 3 in lowercase dash capital V. It looks like we have Python version 3.8.2 installed. Now let's verify pip is installed. Type pip3 space dash dash version and hit enter. Now let's clone the repository. Type git clone, then paste the link that we copied. Type dash lowercase b space master. This will copy the master branch to our system, providing a stable copy of stick shifter for us to use. When the copy is complete, cd to the stick shifter directory, and let's verify that we actually have files. and now it looks like we're ready to install. Let's switch back to the StickShifter GitHub repository and scroll down a bit. The README page lists the prerequisites, the requirements, and provides information on how to install StickShifter. This is a two-part installation. The recommended method for installing StickShifter is via pip. We can also note that the Stix2 matcher package is not currently published in the Python package index and will be the second piece of our install. Now let's switch to our terminal window for the first part of the install. Type sudo space pip3 space install space sticks dash shifter. I need to use the sudo command to make sure that the install is done in the global user directory. Ubuntu 20.04 has modified pip to use the user scheme by default. sudo must be used to install to the user slash bin directory. If you choose not to use sudo, then you may need to add the user slash dot local slash bin directory to your path to complete the installation without errors. Looks good. We can copy the command from GitHub to run the second part of the install. Excellent. Now that both parts of the installation are complete, we need to test it. These are the sample queries I'll be using to test our installation. The first query will use the translate command to convert the sticks pattern into a data source query. The result you are looking for should show the word queries.
The second query will use the Data Source API to ping the connection and verify it's available. You should see Success True. If either of the queries do not return the information shown, then you may need to walk through the Stick Shifter installation steps again to make sure you meet the prerequisites and requirements. Additional sample data is available in the GitHub repository at these locations. Now let's do a quick review of what we covered in this video. We started out on the Stick Shifter GitHub page and copied the link to clone the repository. Then, we opened a terminal window and verified that we had Python, pip, and git installed. We used git to clone the master repository to our system. Then we changed to the stick shifter directory and began our two-step install. To test our installation, we ran two queries to verify the stick shifter CLI could translate sticks patterns into a data source query and to verify our data source was available. To learn more about data sources and queries, make sure to watch the other Working with videos in the Stick Shifter series. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.